Hey, Duffy, what's oh, going on, hey, man? How you doing? Uh, doing well. Yeah. Hey, you see the game last night? Which game? You, you know, the uh, the sports game. It, you, you saw the game. It, they had that great slam run, yeah. All right, I'll catch you later, man. Look, don't get me wrong. Mike's a great guy. Best director I ever had. I love him. But there's one thing. I don't think he knows anything about sports. Hey, Mike, what if we do a piece on the cricket team? Mmm, trick question. That's an insect. I already fell for that squash video joke last week, so not again. That wasn't a joke. We actually made that video. Sports? Mike? Of course he knows about sports. He's he's the sports director. I mean, not as much as me, but... I know sports better than anyone, and I love sports more than anyone. I have things hidden all over this office that just scream sports. I, Joe Barbito, should be the sports director. Mike is a nice guy, but he doesn't have what it takes to be the best director this department needs. No, seriously, like, ask him any question. Just see what he knows. Hey, Mike. Yeah? Who was the most valuable player of the 1957 World Series? Nobody knows the answer to that, Joe. Lou Burdett, right-handed starting pitcher for the- Okay, how about this? Who won this year's World Series? That's soccer, right? I know it wasn't Argentina. Um, you know who would know the answer to that question? My co-director, Gab! Wait, where is he? He's usually, he's usually right here. Oh, wait. Oh, it's Gavin. I live with Gavin. I mean, a busy day to him is uh, lounging around in his boxer shorts, bag of Cheetos, a couple Vine compilations, seven to eight hours of uh, Larry Bird highlights. I mean, he just picked up the snacks yesterday. He's not coming. <laughs> I guess he's pretty busy. I'll see him next week. Mike, can you name any sport? Mike's not stupid, he's just like... Hey. Hey Mike, having a rough day there champ? No, no, I'm just, I'm cutting up some onions. It's... Cutting up onions, gotcha. No, I'm, I'm actually cutting up onions. Oh. I actually carry around an onion with me at all times, uh, just in case I start crying. <laughs> Who's the idiot now? I gotta... Look, Mike, great moments are born from great opportunity. And that's what you have here tonight. I mean, that's what we fought at Gettysburg for. So here, on this hollow ground, you have to pull it together, or sports could be destroyed. So let's get out there, shoot! Ah, uh, the onion just got yeah. on me. Yeah, oh, the, yeah, they're really bad. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Yeah. Okay, Mike, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. No sports directors know about sports. Neil didn't know about sports, I didn't know about sports, Ants knew nothing about sports. Really? We all just pretended we knew how sports worked. That's a total lie, we all know about sports. I mean, Ants works at WEI, but... Here's the thing about Mike, he cries a lot. Like, too much. And the most important thing is really just to get him to stop crying. Oh, I get it. All right, thanks, Emil. I think I understand. Hey, bud. Hey, what's up? We were thinking. You want to play some office ball? Yeah, I do. This? Mike may not know a lot about sports, but he knows a lot about office ball. Yes! All right, guys. Let's get back to the meeting. So, if you take a look at the board here. Mike! Neil? We have to go back. Back where? I got a sports meeting that I got to... Where we're going, we don't need sports. 